That's a hammer cup. The head is in the shape of the hammer. The reason why they call them hammer cup is similar to the hammer. And we call it lightning bag. Uh, we are our common belief if you get to see this animal, especially in the area where we are, Shanghai people operate. If you get to see Hamakop flying on top of your roof, you know that lightning is going to strike on your house, but that day, when it happens, you expect lightning, so you have to prepare yourself. There's quite a lot of birds that are coming in water here. Yeah. As far as standings, always, uh, as you can see, a fetch himself. A fetch himself a fish. It's really the reason why he's inside the water is to, is to fish. You can see all of that, what he's doing there. He's just raising the, cre the crescent the back. You see where the hammercock eating there, they're able to catch bubble. Uh, I've tried yesterday, I failed to do that, but the hammercock is able to do that. It means hammercock is a lot more clever. Hammercock is one of the best that eat meat. I was looking at that uh, bubble yesterday. There's quite a lot of them inside the water here. We're going to go very close to that fish and get a very close upshot and see how it looks like. Now that's a catfish, more especially it got fillers in the front when it moves inside the water, you get to fill. So bubble is one of the fish that really can survive in the muddy area. Sometimes you tend to see them burying themselves underneath the mud and cooling the body system. It can dry up on top while the catfish, a lot of them are inside. In a rain season, when the rain comes, is going to soften all the mud and they will be able to come out. Always with the dams like this, you will never ever run out of catfish. It's a lot of them because they can able to bury themselves in the mud. I was trying to hunt it yesterday and it's a lot more difficult for me to catch even one. It's got a lot of them in the water, yeah, but most of them are set to go to hibernate in the mind. There's a shot of the hammercock, so all the three in total here, they're sharing on the bubble that they make when I mean, they made a kill. So really they're eating on that, enjoying life here around twin dams, water hole or muddy hole. Uh, I've enjoyed it yesterday. 
let us move on. We're going to try something else. We have come here, we've seen our catfish. Let's try to head down towards the other side. I didn't forget to show you the Vildebu skull, if they're still around there. If I didn't get to, to steal it away, we're going to go there where we'll find our private early in the morning. We've located them around that area with the Vildebu skull, chowing on that. So let us take our, our time head slowly, slowly direct to our Vildebu skull. I'll show you around there. We're going to look for around more information. If there's any bones lying around there from Vildebu's.